Hey guys, Morten from Flip Normals here. In today's video, we're doing something a little bit differently. Recently purchased a Huion tablet, a 22 Canvas Plus, I think it's called. We're gonna be switching up the way I work. Usually I work on a regular Intuos Pro, but I really wanted a pen display for a while. So it's not really a review. This is sort of my, I guess, first impressions of using a pen display like this. It's the one right here in the background. So I'll just be recording my thoughts and I guess me using it for the first time. I haven't even peeled up the film yet. But more importantly, we'll be using it for sculpting. A lot of the videos I've seen on YouTube has been specifically for drawing and painting. I haven't really seen much about using pen displays for sculpting. So I hope you learned something. Let's jump into it. So right off the bat, I just want to mention that this video is solely focused on sculpting. Like I mentioned before, there isn't really a lot of that content out there. So for anyone interested in sculpting, that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Another note is that we paid for this tablet ourselves. I know people are going to ask. It's not sponsored or anything. I just wanted a, a pen display. So we did fork out the money for this ourselves. So I bought this tablet originally to get faster at sculpting and to change up the way I work. After having recorded myself, having watched tutorials that I've done, I started to notice that my sculpting wasn't as efficient or decisive as it could have been. I was doing a lot of zooming in and out, uh, rotating around the model when it wasn't really necessary. It was more like, it was almost like it had become a habit to just do it to sanity check. So I went back and forth with myself thinking about what can I do? And ultimately I landed on, I guess, one of the most radical things, which was completely change up the way I work, both in ZBrush, but also the hardware that I used. And after searching around, I kind of landed on Huion as I think the best choice because it's fairly affordable and it, it covered all of my needs when it came to sculpting. Now, one of the first things that I was kind of worried about was how was the ergonomics going to be? I had previously used a Cintiq, uh, both for work and, and for some personal stuff. And every time I did use it, I always got shoulder pain or neck pain. I do realize that when I was using it, I was just using it with the built-in stands that they, they came with. I think they still do some of them, where they're like angled at maybe like 15 or 20 degrees. And working with that for, you know, four or five, six hours a day, sitting hunched over, definitely wasn't good for my body. So when I saw that the Huey on here came with a, a fairly reasonable and good stand, I was like, okay, that's that's the plus. It's included in the price. Very, very nice. And I, I don't know the exact angles for, for the stand, but it, it folds up almost to 90 degrees and then almost flat, kind of like the, the Cintiqs. So I've been using this tablet for something like a week now. And for, for long durations, I always try to stay within the 40, 45 to 60 minute range when I'm working, take a break. Obviously, sometimes that doesn't go according to plan and I sit there for three hours. <laughs> and like with anything, if you do that for too much, you know, your body will start to hurt. So it's definitely important to still keep that in mind, even if you do switch up your workflow like this. I will say it's nice. I think it's a pretty light display. You know, it's easy for me to move it around on my desk. I already have two monitors. So this kind of acts as my third. I still need to figure out that whole setup. But one of the things I really like about the 22 plus here is that it just comes with like a three in one cable. So I just insert the one cable in the tablet. And if I need to remove it, or if I need to use my desk without it, I just unplug that one cable and put this in the corner somewhere. One thing that I have found to be a little bit tricky is when it comes to using the keyboard. So for sculpting, whether you're doing this in, in ZBrush, Mudbox or Blender, whatever it is, you know, you'll probably need a keyboard unless you have everything on screen, which for me is a little impractical. It's not as fast. So figuring out what to do with a keyboard, I went for the most obvious solution and just took my full size keyboard and put it behind the display off to the left a little bit. I'm right handed, so I'll use my left hand on the keyboard. This is by no means ideal. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe buying a, a smaller keyboard, maybe like numpad 
pad size with a, a few more keys and then changing up my hotkeys in ZBrush. And if I need anything else, I can always go over to the other full size keyboard. It is a little bit tricky. So if, you know, if you're typing, uh, renaming subtools or doing any kind of writing really while the display is on your desk, you kind of need to shift it around and move out the keyboard or maybe move it in front of the display in order to properly get access to it. So that's definitely something to, to keep in mind. And purely from an ergonomics point of view when working, one of the things I have noticed is that I can't keep my left arm too much to the left um, where the keyboard is. Otherwise, I do feel that in my shoulder. And the same thing with the hand that sort of rests on the display. I have to be vigilant. Otherwise, my wrist starts to bend upwards and you don't really want that. You kind of want a your, your wrist to be as stiff as possible. Otherwise, you know, might get carpal tunnel or start to feel some pain in your wrist. Now moving on to comparing it to a regular pen tablet. For the past, I don't know, 10 or 15 years, I've been using a, a normal pen tablet. Uh, Wacom Intuos Pro, I think they're called now. I've used these since forever. I started out with an A3 version and then I actually I guess downgraded to an A4 version because I felt like the A3 version was too big. And I guess it's one of those things where you sacrifice a little precision when you go down to an A4 size, but it makes it a lot more manageable on a desk. Now that's interesting because buying this display, I didn't want something that was just A4 size. I wanted something that was bigger. That was the whole point of this, gaining more precision. But even with an A3 pen tablet, and this being a, a 21, 21 and a half inches, I still feel like with the display, I'm way more precise. I feel more immersed when I'm sculpting. It feels like I'm actually moving real clay around. I can move closer and further away from the screen depending on exactly what I'm doing. It's one to one, meaning that wherever your pen is, that's where your eye is looking. So that's what you're moving. It's one of those things where when you're using a pen tablet, you kind of have to adjust and relearn the way you do things. You have to decouple your hand from your eye and then learn where your hand is moving and, and track that with your eye. Obviously, everyone who's using a pen tablet usually gets the hang of this pretty quickly, but there is definitely a difference. And I noticed that now going to a, a display instead. Like one of the things that I suffer from suffer it's a very strong word but what's an issue for me is the size now because everything is one-to-one -one and i i see it right in front of my eyes i tend to think that let's say i use a brush size of 100 in zbrush i tend to overestimate the brush size so i think i'm actually using a, a size that might be a 50 whereas in reality it's actually 100 so i end up sculpting a lot bigger than i intended i'm sure this just it's a little bit of a readjustment period where you're switching from a tablet to a display. But that was one of the things that I noticed that that was, that was pretty interesting. And I, I wanna just say that there's no better or worse piece of hardware here. It's very much personal preference and you can create the exact same thing, achieve the same result with both of them. It just comes down to personal preference. Though I will say, I feel like I can be more decisive. And like I mentioned before, I feel like more immersed in my sculpting. Something that someone pointed out to me when I initially started playing around with the tablet here or the display was they had an issue with their hand getting in the way. And so I tried to keep that in mind whenever I was sculpting. And I, I didn't really find that to be that much of an issue. Maybe I can count on one hand how many times my hand actually got in the way. And then I would just sort of rotate the model and I don't know, get on with my life. It wasn't really, it's not something I have noticed being an issue, it might be further down the line, but so far it, it seems uh, it seems pretty good. Now, just for some quick numbers, because I know people are curious, I will so you know say disclaimer: I can't fully talk about a, a Cintiq or whatever Wacom offers because I'm not working with it right now. I am with the Huion, but one thing that I wanted to point out is that a similar tablet from Wacom is twelve hundred dollars. It's their 22 inch model, I think. 
And this tablet from Huion is like 550 bucks. So it's like half the price. And I'm not sure what more you need in a tablet. Obviously, I can't speak to durability. I bought the Plus version, which is supposed to have some more durable resistant glass. I guess time will tell how resistant that, act that actually is. And again, I can't really compare that when it comes to the Cintiq or whatever, the XP pen, for example. But just in terms of pricing, I thought it was pretty interesting that it's like the Wacom tablets are, are twice the price. But for, for what I need, I think this is, this is more than adequate. So just quickly to sum everything up, I guess. Like I just said, I think this is the perfect tablet for sculpting. I can't speak to this when it comes to painting. I have seen a lot of people be very positive and given a lot of positive feedback when it comes to the painting side of it. The Huion Canvas 22 Plus, which is the one I bought, comes with a new style of pen. It has the three-in-one cable, which I really like, makes it easy to move around. And I think I was initially a little bit worried about what is the pen going to be like, because I really like the Wacom pen. You know, they've had like, I don't know, 20 years to, <laughs> to invent uh, the perfect pen. But I definitely feel like Huion has taken some cues from Wacom when it comes to this pen. I haven't used any of their other pens, but I don't know. I think this pen is a little bit lighter, not a lot. Uh, but after like 10 seconds, you're fully readjusted if you've ever used a Wacom pen. So it hasn't really been an issue for me. So as with everything in this package, I really feel like it does exactly what it needs to. Nothing more, you know, install the driver, plug it in and you're, you're good to go. I like the pressure sensitivity. It's, it's fairly easy to adjust, but I've just left it at default. I feel more precise with the display compared to a regular tablet. And that's really one of the things that I think I've fallen the most in love with uh, using this so far. A big plus for me is that there are no side buttons. Uh, whenever I've used my Wacom tablet, I've always disabled everything that's a button. I only ever wanted the sculpting area or the pressure sensitive area. So being able to buy this one that didn't have any buttons was really a no brainer for me because I feel like they always get in the way. I think that I was a little worried about was the, for lack of a better term, like the parallax effect. You know, the, the difference between where my cursor is and where the pen is on the display. But as far as I can see, especially for sculpting, it seems pretty one-to-one -one actually. There's no real parallax, there's no shifting. So I think they nailed that pretty well. It's a cheap-ish tablet, still more expensive than, you know, an equivalent a pen tablet. So definitely if you're just starting out with sculpting, I would recommend a pen tablet. And if you feel like sculpting is something you want to get more into, then I can wholeheartedly definitely recommend a, a display. And when it comes to the size, I was a little back and forth between the 16 inch that they offer and then the, or, or the 16 and the 22. I'm assuming the 16 is around 16 inches. I landed on the 22, like I said, it's 21 and a half inches, which is perfect for me. It's great for my, my desk. It's a nice size. I, I can see everything that I need to, and I can be far enough away and close up for everything that I really need to do. I was a little worried about the 16 was going to be too small, but I can definitely see it being advantageous, especially if you have a, a smaller space to work on, or maybe you're like moving around a lot or something like that, then the 16 might be better. And I think overall, it feels very similar to when I've used a Cintiq in the past. And, and so I guess my final verdict or my verdict until this point is that I don't really see a reason or a need if you're sculpting to pay a premium for a pen display when Huion offers, I mean, this version. It's, it's I would say it's, it's perfect for sculpting. So if you are looking to get into sculpting with, I, in my mind, more precision and be more immersed. I think if you've been thinking about upgrading to a pen display, the 22 Canvas Plus, which is the one I got, is, is definitely, definitely gets my uh, recommendation. Now, this isn't sort of the typical video that we do. You know, we don't really work with companies or, or sponsors for that matter. We try to keep the platform pretty clean but this was a fairly drastic upgrade, especially in my workflow. So we thought we wanted to do a video about this. As I mentioned, it's not really a review. It's more 
my first impressions. But I, if you are interested in this type of video going forward, do let us know in the comments and we'll definitely do our best to, to try to accommodate that. So just remember to subscribe and, and leave a comment down below, maybe a like if you like the video and we'll see you guys in the next video.